Alright, hello everybody. Today I'm going to be drawing a really cool treehouse. Uh, like one I always wished I had when I was a little kid. Well, re really I still wish I had one of those. But anyways, as you watch me draw this, I'm going to talk you through a few of the decisions I made and thoughts that went through my head. And maybe it'll help you if you want to draw your own treehouse. Uh, but first let me say this. If you do decide to draw a treehouse, and I really think you should, don't be discouraged if you think yours doesn't come out looking uh, as good as mine, or if it's just different in some way that bothers you. Don't worry. Art like this isn't a competition. It's just art for the sake of having fun and enjoying your imagination. The first thing you can do to get a few ideas is to use the Google. Search for images of tree houses or tree forts or stuff like that. Look for features you like, things you think would just make a tree house awesome. In my drawing, I was sure to include a few things, uh, like a spiral spit staircase going up the tree, a rope bridge, some rope ladders, swings, a crow's nest at the top, uh, and I even added a water slide, because I was feeling adventurous. Another thing you should keep in mind uh, when you draw your treehouse is that it doesn't have to be totally realistic. If the one I'm drawing uh, here existed in real life, I'm pretty sure there would immediately be a torrent of destruction as most of the house parts fell out of the tree parts and landed on the ground. Also in real life this tree would look kind of flat. By that I mean it all exists on one plane. I don't really have any structures clearly behind or in front of each other. They're all just beside and above and below each other. Um, it's fine. Also, this would just look like a weird tree in general because it's so huge, but also doesn't have as much foliage as I guess most real trees often seem to. I'm no, I'm no uh, botanist, but I have seen a fair number of trees in my day. What I'm trying to say is, just have fun with it. Who cares if you've got a helipad in your tree? You put that helipad in there if you want it. You've been written a blank check. Your budget is limitless. One thing I did uh, to make it look a little better is I established a vanishing point. If you don't have, um, well, if you don't know what a vanishing point is, go look it up. There are probably some uh, YouTube videos that explain it really well. Uh, but I put in a vanishing point somewhere behind or right below that bottom middle structure. So all the lines that would be going into the page, if you know what I mean, are all pointing at that. And it gives some sense of perspective. I don't, I don't know. Vanishing points are hard for me to explain. Um, if you want to do leaves, like I did in this drawing, just draw them in clumps. Once again, not the most realistic method, but it works well, I think. Draw yourself a little outline of the clump, and then start shading it in. Use lots of little curvy marks, uh, putting more on the bottom of the clump to make it darker, since less light is reaching that part. I'll post a link in the description uh, to my website where you can see a high-res scan of this drawing, and examine, examine it for as long as you'd like. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you have a fun time drawing. Bye.